Good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Boris is still in bed with Mazaya. <laughs> it's like the old days when it was just the two, two of us. But, oh, she's taking care of her business. We're just on our way back from our walk. It's about quarter to six now, probably something like that. Oh, just a minute. Oh, yeah. Well, we're on our way back from our walk. It's cool out today, but not not too bad right now. Um, it is, what is it? Well, what do you think you're doing? It's Aretha's house right there. We're not going to her house right now there, sister. Today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I think so. Um, so that means tomorrow's garbage day. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, um, I have the kids' lunches packed for the most part, except for their thermoses. I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put alphagetti or chicken soup or... I don't know. I'll find something. Anyways, um, yeah. Oh, there's flyers in my driveway. I'll bring those in. And we'll get on with this day. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're back. I packed the kids' lunches. I did put some soup and mazes and alphagettis and <sighs> mishas, but they have other stuff, too. Um, and I unloaded the dishwasher, mostly, not all the way, but... And the furnace just kicked in, so that's cool. Um, I did put a fire in last night, but we didn't shut the drafts because we're thinking just to let it burn, and we'll restart a new one today. So... I didn't have to tend to no fire anyways um, yeah so I have my coffee here Mally wanted to he, she asked yesterday can we have a chili tomorrow I'm like we just had chili last week but she wanted some I said well there's one in the freezer you can take it out so that's sitting in the sink I'm gonna put that in the fridge now that it's defrosted some and chili's gonna be for supper tonight so that's easy so I just need to wake my big arse up and uh, get on with this day. So I'll be back. I'm going to drink my coffee and enjoy it. Oh, we're out with the kids. It's, look how light. It's way lighter today. Oh. <laughs> All right. Look, our driveway is like ice. Hard ice. Covered in snow. Anyways, Violet's out with us. She's fine. Boris and Zaya are still sleeping. Usually she'll get up, uh, like right around when the kids get up. Well, not usually, sometimes. But if Boris is with her, Boris would usually try to, you know, he'd get up and whine at the door, so she'd have to get up and stuff. But, yeah, it's quite light out this morning. Isn't it, Violet? So, anyways, I'll go wake them. Well, I don't have to wake Mally up. She doesn't have school today, but Mazaya does. up some of that laundry from yesterday and I went and got the towels off the drying rack that I hung up yesterday because those were dry um, and I rotated stuff that I put in the wash when I went to bed into the dryer this morning so that's going I'm not gonna bring up any of the piles until that's all done and yeah but a little bit a little bit done there goes Messiah I'm just bringing some compost out hey 
So, a couple of snow bunnies there. I'll bring them in in just a minute. Oh boy. It's cold out today, baby. It's the high of minus four, low of minus six or something like that. I don't know. So, we need to get a fire going. just playing <clears throat> anyways I'm wrapping return things from Christmas um, that didn't fit or didn't, you know was under warranty there's a couple things I got Mazaya something it doesn't fit her properly so returning it a little rinky dink thing that came broken and something that was from Allie that didn't fit so um, I have until the end of the month to send it back and I've been procrastinating about this the third one you didn't see me wrap, this one here. Um, I wasn't sure. It, that one has to go by UPS. These are Canada Post. Um, so those can just go down to the little post down the hill. And I arranged for UPS to pick this up. And they said they'll be here sometime before 3. I had to pay them, though. It was $3.27. Look. <clears throat> but it came with a customs thing. And I had to get a hold of UPS because I'm like, does that go in the box or on top of the box or what? So got that sorted and yeah I'm glad I'm glad I'm doing this I really didn't feel like doing it there's laundry but it's clean and it's dry I need to plug you guys in my battery's almost dead but these will go down to the post today UPS will pick that up today and that will be everything tied up from Christmas that I had to you know any leftover straggle stuff that's it alright guys it's 11:34. the UPS guy just came I had the door open all the way so I could see when he's walking by, so I seen him and yeah, excellent, because they said they'll be here sometime between now and 3 o'clock, and I'm thinking, oh, for crying out loud, and my doorbell doesn't work, and you know, all that, but it's picked up, it's gone, now it's just the Canada Post stuff, which is easy peasy. Alright, Boris is watching my husband, <laughs> he's out there scraping the car off. He has a meeting in town he's going to, I think, and he's going to drop those parcels off for me. He's going to pick up a box of kindling and pick the kids up from basketball and skating. So that's awesome. So uh, Mally's here. She's still in bed, for goodness sakes. No, Violet. It's about 11.30, quarter to 12. But yeah, the vehicles are all covered in snow and ice and stuff. So, And it's cold out. It's cold. So that stuff is sticking. But he's out there scraping it off for us. was just watching him. All right, guys, it's 12.30. I came outside just for these guys to have a little time out. They were playing, and but I scraped the car off. It doesn't look all that scraped off, but it was covered in snow and ice. <sighs> just because I don't plan on going anywhere today, but this will this took like 15 minutes, honestly. And it'll just save a whole heck of a lot more time if I have to leave in a rush for some reason. And yeah, these guys got a little bit of fresh air. All right, guys, my fingers are froze, but um, I just gave them a little slice of bacon when they came in, um, just because they were being so good outside. But anyways, um, 
yeah, for supper tonight, it's like that frozen bag of chili, which is defrosted. I'll just put it in a pot and warm it up. So I'm feeling a little at a loss. I know there's stuff I can do, but yeah, I just don't feel like doing anything. You have days like that? I'm sure you do. I'm sure we all do. So anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I have TV for dogs on and yeah, I'm just going to rest a bit. Maybe have the carbonated water. All right, guys, I have not checked back in a while. Mally's made a present. She made uh, red velvet cookies. They're oh in the oven God. now. For yourself. Yes. For myself. Yeah, right. Oh, oh there's two pheasants down there. Oh. Oh, there's no. Like Was there? Um, here's that chili. Made it January 19th. You don't need to cut the I'm bag. Going to cut the bag. It opens right there. It does not work well. We're just going to put it in there and warm it up. I just noticed Mazai should be getting home any time now. Look at the ice. It's like frozen sideways. It's the little branches and stuff. See the ice out here, Moo? Wow, that's cool. That right, isn't it? Wow, that's crazy. It is. All right, here's the cookies Mally made, red velvet. And here's that chili. The kids have already came and got their feed out of it. But don't those look nice? Ooh, and look what I got a going. We got some kindling when my husband got home. He brought home a box. I got that going. Lickety split. I just came out in the kitchen. I hope I don't scare it. But way down there on that bird feeder. See that red bird? I don't know if that's a cardinal. And he's just sitting there. There's no food in that one. There's food in the other ones. Like that one hanging. Where is it? Yeah, right there there's some. So he could get food, but he might be just having a little rest. Oh. I think that's a bird. Hmm. Pretty. moved forward it's black on him must be a cardinal maybe he's getting something he looks like he's pecking stuff probably some that's frozen to the tray cute oh well, hey guys, it's the next morning. It's the next morning. I just made my coffee here. I hit snooze a few times. I stayed up late last night. I started a new book like quarter to nine and stayed up till like 12. Didn't finish it and I really could have. I had to tell myself to get my arse to bed because today I got to get up and get kids off to school. It's garbage day. Maze has hockey. It's, you know, like, uh, yeah, so I only read about 80 pages. Um, yeah, it was probably quarter to 12 or something I went to bed anyways I made my coffee the kids' lunches are packed I don't know how much I filmed yesterday so if this is a new video hi it's Tracy and Boris from Nova Scotia Living but if it's gonna be a squish video it's just the next morning Violet's upstairs uh, with Mazaya last night so she hasn't been up yet but I am dying for a shower I want to shower so bad but I'll wait till the kids go to school and then I'm gonna have a shower so Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I want to dip back into this book. Um, book two, it's been like two years. Book two is coming out and it's on its way. It'll be here by the end of the month. So I held off reading that book because I know it leaves it on a cliffhanger and I wanted to make sure I had the second book to dive right into before I read this one because people say it's really good. So yeah. I'll probably be done this tonight, today, sometime, honestly, depending on how my day goes, but it's not that long, it's only like, oh gosh, I can't do this one-handed, almost like 300 pages, something like that, 287, I think, yeah, something like that, so, anyways, I need my coffee. Watch out, ding dongs. All right, Violet just came out, so I was getting ready to take, her, just take care of her business. But I woke the kids up. Mally does go today. 
she has an exam today, so and my husband's getting up. He has a meeting today at 10, so once the kids leave, I'm jumping in the shower, I can tell you that much. It's raining out, but we got all of the garbage and recycle out of the garbage box out there, which is great. Um, that feels good. So anyways, they're playing. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Whew. All right, guys, I just went out with the girls. They caught the bus. Um, I had one straggle recycle bag. It's garbage day today. I can't really show you because it's raining out, but all the stuff is out there, which is fantastic. Feels good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, it's windy. <laughs> I feel like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mally was carrying the umbrella. She was like, I swear to God, if this umbrella turns inside out, because she's like, every umbrella I ever have always turns inside out. <laughs> Anyways, they're off. As Violet and Morris are still in the house. It's just, they've already been out and it's raining hard and slushy and gross and we were running behind and all that jazz. Oh. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. It's 1034, I did have a shower. I got the dishwasher going and I got the washing machine going. It's raining like the dickens out and I've been reading this book. I'm on page 175 now. So, yeah, I am absolutely going to finish this. I'll probably finish it before lunchtime, to be honest. I'm just really into it. Mally just messaged me. Uh, she's done her exam, so she doesn't have anything else today. She said, is Dad coming into town? I said, he might. He's upstairs doing a meeting. But she's just going to go to Dad's house, like Papa's house. He's just like half a block away, and yeah, but I'm sleepy. I took a Benadryl after my shower because I was itchy, and now it's kicking in, and it's chilly. Even though it's supposed to be plus 12 today outside, low of minus 3, like plus 12. That's insane for January especially. <sighs> yeah, we don't have the fire going. We'll probably make one after, but I'm sitting here with a blanket on my lap and I'm sitting in this rocking chair beside the lamp so I can read better. I don't want to turn the big light on. But I would like to look for, uh, I like this chair but it's old and like this handle's broken off of it and it's just, it's old, old. Um, I'd like to get a nice comfy chair for over here. It could be my little reading area. Um, last night I, when I started this book I was out by the piano where I fold laundry because there's that lamp there. But, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to check in. I didn't forget about you. I'll rotate that laundry after, empty the dishwasher. <clears throat> I might make a cup of tea just to warm me from the inside because I'm chilled. I'm chilled. Ooh, I'm almost on that book, but the power just went out and came back on, so I'm going to go put a little bit of water in the tub just in case. It's really, really windy out and rainy. Yeah, it just flashed off for like five seconds and turned back on, so... I just want to have toilet flush and water if need be. Oh, I'm almost done that video, but I went and put some wood in the fire. Um, put that water in the tub. My husband and Mally just got home. He went into town and picked her up from her exam and brought me a coffee, which is good. I was going to go up and lay down because I'm getting sleepy. But this is going to hit the spot right now. And I can finish my book. Oh, yeah, I ordered. I had been keeping my eye on when the next book was coming out. And... Yeah, it'll be here on the 29th. Today is the 26th. So I should have waited another day or two before I read this. Because <laughs> I wanted to have the second one in hand to start it right up. But that's okay. I can maybe squeeze one in, in between the two books. We're outside. I just filled up the wheelbarrow. Um, these guys are outside. It wasn't raining, but now it's starting to rain again. So we might have to go in. But I'm just waiting for the school bus to get here. It's not cold out, though. I mean, I do have a jacket on, but it's not super cold. So, I just brought Violet and Boris in because it was raining a bit, and they're going to get all muddy, but they did take care of their business. I did finish that book, so now I just need to wait a couple days for that book two to come. And, yeah, the bus isn't here yet, but... It should be on its way. Yeah, this whole place was still covered in snow this morning. And, I mean, there's little bits, but... That's how much it rained this morning. Here comes the bus. Oh. 
yeah, Mays has hockey tonight, and I gotta pick up Sarika's prescriptions and groceries, so we'll go in probably around five o'clock so I can do all that. Oh, there's Misha. She looks like she has a book in her hand. I think she brought one to school with her. How was school? That's good. What's that book? Oh, it's a journal thing. I gotcha, I gotcha. After five almost. I'm heading in town with Misha and Mays. He has hockey, but I gotta stop and get Aretha stuff, groceries, and prescriptions. And I brought reusable shopping bags because when they bring them out, sometimes they're in paper bags, sometimes they're not in any bags at all. Shut the door. And, well, you're, oh, the wind will. So, anyways, we're going to town. Ooh. All right, guys, we came in town. I was getting Aretha's groceries, but they didn't have an order. I don't think you can hear me. It's way too windy. Hockey. We stopped to try to get Sarita's groceries, but they didn't have an order for her. I said, are you sure? I said, is it tomorrow? And they checked and there's no order in, so I messaged her. I said, I'm coming in on Saturday for hockey. I can pick it up then. But I did stop to Sobeys and get her prescriptions, so that's good. Oh, there's some grown folks out there. We still have 15 minutes before you go on, Mace. Oh. Woo. There they are. What room are we at? Seems like it's been forever since we've been here because they didn't have it on last weekend. Three and four. Way down at the end. Mays fell asleep in the car, so <laughs> he's not in fine frame right now, but he'll be all right once he gets on the ice. Get walking, these. There's people coming. Ooh. All right. All right, there he is. He's waking up now. No choice but to. guys getting off. The little ones are going to be waiting there because they're going to come out with the Zamboni. She's just reading her book. I brought one of my books. Ooh. Oh, he's on his last round right there, I think. I think. This guy's fast. I should have timed him. He's not playing around. What? Oh, you're on chapter two. Good for you. All right. Oh, they're yelling to open. Oh. oh. Yeah. All right. Here they go, I think. Here they go.
Okay, Maze is on right over there, number 10. Now one of the big players are staying to help. That's nice. There's Maze. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to stop the superstore to get some milk. Maze's jacket is out in the car. Heavens to Betsy. I need to stop to get some milk. Miloka, Miloka. Gosh. There's somebody behind us? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's dark out. Follow Misha. Go straight ahead, Misha. Follow the big pink ah, buoy. Yes, you. <laughs> right there. There it is. I'll get your jacket on you. It's right in the back seat, bud. We're in the superstore now. Um, I need some milk, so we'll just do one quick loop. Sorry, bud. Let's see if there's anything worth. Yeah, it's seven o'clock at night, so we're not going to see many deals. Not really. We'll check the hodgepodges, anyways. Oh, jeez. All right, here's the uh, bakery hodgepodge. Nothing all that exciting. Some pumpernickel. All right. I'm gonna resist. I don't need any meat. Tracy, you don't need any GD meat. There's some makeup wipe things. Well, I don't really wear makeup, so depends on my mood. Oh, uh, meatless meat patties. Delicious. Beyond meat, yeah. Oh, heaven's sakes. Turkeys, turkey, turkey. Getting the milk for me. Let's check out Hodgepodge Island. Well, that's a big pack of batteries for five dollars. That's a pretty good deal. How many? I might get one for. Yeah. Are those five dollars? Is it a big pack? I'm gonna get one just for my emergency kit. Well. Let's see. It's cute little wine glasses. Right there. They're like stemless. They don't have a stem. Hot chocolate bombs with little marshmallows in it. Um, what's down there? What is this? That was just a shopping bag. $6.99 regular. No, even 50% off. Nay. Hairspray. Drink mixes. Skin exfoliant. No. White truffle. Cherries. Spanish. No. Some ant raid little discs things. Let's check over on this side. I don't know if there's anything I'm missing. Catnip. Oh no. Daily cleanser, cold brew. No. Oh, I got Mr. Mays right there. Oh, come back snack. Popcorn, lemon pepper dill, but it's regular, six ninety nine. I can't, like, no, six ninety nine, please, mother, please. Caramel chocolate things. How much money you got, honey? 
I'm not buying that. That looks like it's $8.99. I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't have money for extra stuff like that. I'm just getting necessities. Yeah, I'm sure you could have caramel ice cream pops for supper. Anybody could, but that's not good for you. All right, we'll go up the see if there's any yogurt and stuff, and then we'll head out. I really... What? If you got money for it. See if there's any drinks marked down. If there was, they're probably long gone now. What? Any 50% off drinks. I didn't know there was orange juice in jugs. Well, that's how we usually get it if we get it. Not like it's it's like in a milk jug, it's white. Stuff on sale. I still have cheese at home, but I would get some if there was some marked down. There. $5.99. What? Victor, yeah. We'll wake them up when we go pay. <coughs> Let's see. Any yogurt drinks? Fifty percent. Three for eleven twenty-five. Crazy. That used to be three for nine, which was crazy. Not acceptable. Go back here for a second. Check this side of the freezer section. I often, you can go look, you just need to find me before I go. Um, yeah, I think Maze is legitimately sleeping. Yeah, where's the bird food? Let's see if there's any bird food on sale. What? Did you see anything that tickled your fancy besides the blueberries? Blueberries. Oh, the, the ice cream. Oh, yeah. Did you get it or no? Uh, well, I got yeah, that's still $7.49. I still got two bags in my trunk, so I won't get any more. I still have some Niger seeds at home. That's expensive. $16.99. I don't know if that's what everybody pays, but... $15.99 for a big 4 kg bag for the little sunflowers, but I'll buy that. That's regular price, so yeah. Songbird Cardinal Feed, $8.99. Yeah. Already good enough dog food. So we're good there. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, what else I could get. Like, I don't want to be bananas and buy a bunch of stuff. Why? All right, guys, we're on our way home, but we're at the Tim's parking lot drive through Mally gave me money for something, and I'll get these guys a donut. I stopped and got gas, too. Gas is going up tonight, I guess, a couple more cents, so I just put 20 bucks in. Um, and I almost drove out of town, and he's just like, Mally. So I just went around the loop and came back to the little Tim Hortons that's by um, Superstore. And that's just right by the highway anyway. So, yeah, then we'll go home. It is 7.31 now. I know. It's Park. Yes. All right, we're back. We're bringing Saritha's medication over. That's just me and Misha. Maze fell asleep, so <laughs> I've got him in the house. And, yeah, we'll just drop this off quick. And I'm ready to go home and Misha offered to pack lunches so I'm like yes please I know it's muddy there we got to take our boots off when we go in because no matter how much we wipe our feet it's gonna leave marks stay on the carpet like the mat I mean oh, it's us oh oh there you are. Everything's all muddy and slippery now. Not slippery because it's icy. It's because it's slippery because it's muddy. Misha, you got your good boots on. Don't walk in the mud if you can help it. Oh, so we over there maybe a half hour had a chit chat and stuff. So, well, probably something like that. Twenty minutes, long enough for her to tell a couple of stories. Yeah. 
All right, I'll show you what I got at the Superstore. Not, not very much, really. I held back. I got a jug of milk was what I went in for. Um, I got two things of juice boxes. I was going to get those jammers, but Misha's like, why do you always get the jammers? I said, because they're two for $5, but she wanted to switch it up. I said, fine, I'm using the jammers that I have before I open these up, though. So she picked Five Alive and Fruit Punch Minute Maid. Those are $3.49 each, a little more expensive, but that's okay, um, just to switch it up. I got some uh, vanilla Dunkaroos. I had chocolate ones before. They didn't care for those as much, but this is like vanilla cookie rainbow sprinkle frosting. Expensive, though. Two for $8. If I was to buy one, it was $5.49 for one, so I was like, I'll get them as a one-off, but that's not going to be a usual thing. No, $8. Ridiculous. Um, I got a bag of macaroni because um, there's a hamburger, there's a stroganoff mixture in the fridge that needs to be used up. We just didn't have the pasta for it. I'll probably do that tomorrow. And I did get one pack of these, $5 with 10 AAA batteries and $5 for what? AA batteries. Oh, how many are in here? I thought it was, that's 10 years guaranteed storage. There's four, six, eight, yeah, 10. And then the double A, too. So that's all I got. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. Misha got some blueberries with her own money. And, oh, did you put the other stuff in the freezer? She got um, caramel milk ice cream popsicle things with her own money. So, yeah. Well, good morning, friends. It is the next day again. It's um, about 6.30. I had a hard time getting up this morning, let me tell you. I stayed up late until about 12.30. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I couldn't get up at, like, the 5 o'clock mark, so I hit snooze a million times. But I'm up. Mally's in the kitchen making supper. Yeah. I said, what are you still doing up? She said she went up and went to bed, but she got up early. She has a pot of potato potatoes boiling on the stove, and now she's making the meatloaf. So it's Friday. I don't have to make supper. Great. Uh, the kids, well, Mally and I don't have school. I don't think I'm going to send Maze to school. He wasn't feeling good last night after hockey. I don't know. I haven't checked on him this morning, but <clears throat> it might just be Mally, or um, Misha that goes. So, anyways, I wanted to put an ending on this video. I already started a new video, just the good morning, that thing. Um, <clears throat> but I know this is two days, I think, squished together, I think, maybe three, I don't know. But not a whole lot's been going on. Um, but today, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Something went under the computer desk. Is it the hot dog bun? It is. They have a stuffed hot dog bun. They fight so much over the llama yesterday, I had to take it away. It's on top of the piano. <laughs> they were being ridiculous about it. Now they fascinated to a hot dog bun. It's a toy, but uh, I need to get two llamas. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it'll make it worse. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, it was just hanging out with me the past couple days and not a whole lot going on, really. That's that's the long and short of it. So I want to put an ending on it and start fresh today. And I had planned on doing some freezer meals this week, but it just it never happened. It never happened. I need to light a fire under my backside and get back on that train because that worked out really good. We had that chili this week, and we still got stuff in there, but I still got freezers full of food. So, Tracy, snap out of it. And I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, Whew. Okay, guys. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink. Boink.